Hey everybody, my name's Alex. Welcome back to my little corner of the internet. And today, Toman have sent me a big package. Make your own jokes in the comment section. Um, it's a court guitar, actually. It's a court G290 Fat 2. And uh, these guitars, um, they're the updated version for 2022 for um, a model that came out, I think, in 2021 or... Uh, maybe a little bit of time before that, um, before the pandemic. And uh, they actually won a lot of awards for these guitars and the manufacturing processes and, and what have you. Uh, DHL did punch a massive hole in the side of the box that it came in, but unlike um, an unaired solar unboxing, they didn't actually unwrap it and have a look at what's inside. Um, so, uh, looking at this very quickly, uh, the box has been opened, which means it was probably checked by Toman, which is really, really good to see, or it's checked by somebody at least. Um, so the, this is the G290 Fat 2 in Trans Black Burst. As I was saying, the, the original 290 came out to like rave reviews back in 2019 or 2020, and uh, there was lots of stuff that they had done really well using Bird's Eye Maple for the neck. Um, they had the, the truss rod uh, adjuster for the uh, truss rod. They had some really nice uh, uh, proprietary pickups in and what um, Court seemed to do with their own models is that they sell them at an affordable price point to demonstrate the manufacturing technology to the big brands because the Cortec factory, they make so many of your imported branded guitars. Um, you know, stuff like maybe not Jackson's or Fender's but very well, could be Jackson's, Fender's, Schecter's, um, God, Ibanez, all, you know, the the number of guitars that are produced in the Cortec factory in Indonesia will amaze you. So, this model here, the, the 290 Fat 2, is in, this particular model is in Trans Black Burst, and, um, as I said, it's, it's a relatively new release, and, uh, they've actually upgraded a whole bunch of stuff on this as well, so... What's really cool is that the neck is now roasted maple, which I'm a huge fan of roasted maple stuff. Um, they've got the locking tuners, which they already had. They've readjusted the uh, the string angles on the headstock, so there's now a string tree there. Um, they've got new um, pickups in, a new voice set of pickups. They've got the uh, Cortec uh, floating trem bridge, not a locking bridge, but it's, it's, it's a two-point, I think. Uh, so it's uh, it's contemporary to kind of what you see on Chavel DK24s, um, that kind of thing. Um, and um, Court for ages were kind of that guitar brand. Um, back when I was learning guitar, oh, this is very nice. Um, you know, this is back in the you know the early 2000s, where it was like, lol, it's a Court, it's going to be crap. And by and large, they were back in the day. Holy shit, that is beautiful. Um, oh my word, that is astounding. Bit of dust on it? Uh, I'm looking at this and you can't see it. So, <laughs> uh, let's just bob that over to one side and uh, I can put this over for you. So as we were saying, Court kind of made pretty poor guitars back in the day. Um, Oh, they'll be my trust. They'll be my. Uh, they'll be my. Uh, uh, my uh, trem bar in there, which there is. I can see it from here. There's also an extra string, so let's just pop it on there and give it a quick run through with the extra stuff. So the goodies in the in the the box include the trem arm. Uh, we've got an extra spring and we've got the Allen keys as well. Um, what do we have that's different from the old model? Um, we've got uh, we've got a a string tree, as I said there. We've got the uh, the locking tuners there. We've got this fabulous roasted maple neck that already feels incredible to play. Uh, we've got the the Graftech nut there. Uh, we've got black inlay dots, uh, 22 frets. Uh, we've got lumen lays on the side as well along the um, uh, along the neck. We've got a really nice contoured neck joint there, which feels super super smooth. Uh, the uh, this is cut really, really nicely in there. I'm not too bothered about this, to be honest with you, this neck cut. I did send a solar back because it was cut really badly. A uh, little bit of dust there, but nothing to complain about. 
Um, wow, this is really, really nice. A, a little, a little ding there, but that's fine. Um, and in trans black as well. So there are a couple of colours that this comes in. This is trans black. There is the um, uh, the uh, the trans blue, and there's the the vintage amber. I think it is. So this cost me four hundred and ninety-five pounds, I believe. Um, this is cheaper than the original uh, set of um, G two nineties, which I think retailed for around a uh, thousand. Uh, sorry, a thousand uh, six hundred pounds. Um, this feels really, really nice. A little bit. Yeah, this is glorious. This is beautiful. The neck looks gorgeous. Um, yeah, it needs a bit of a dust, admittedly. Um, but look at that. Though. Look at that finish on there. And look at the neck, too. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's nice and light, which is quite nice. The, the neck feels really, really good. Um, I don't, I think, it, I believe it's a compound radius neck, so I think it's 12, 12 inch scale, at, uh, 12 inch radius at the top, going up to a 16 inch radius on the 22nd fret. Um, action seems okay out of the box. Um, give it a quick play. Yeah, seems okay. Straight out of the box seems nice enough. Um, and then it doesn't have coil split, but it does have a five-way selector there. Um, and then it's got the uh, uh, the court uh, proprietary uh, V70 pickups, I think it is. Um, but I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Um, and we've got the belly cut on the back too. First impressions, first impressions are really, really good. With this guitar this feels nice i'm gonna have some fun with this do you know what in in a way it reminds me a little bit of the of the evh wolfgang just the just the look of it to start with um the neck is apparently a, like a modern v or something like that um maybe that could have been actually just needs a dust i don't want to say it could have been sanded down better just needs a bit of a dust and, uh, and a wipe down i think um but yeah First impressions are very, very good. I'm going to have some fun with this, and there's going to be a review on this. And uh, let me know what you think about Court Guitars in the comments, guys. Until the review, look after yourselves, stay safe, and take care of each other. Bye for now.